There's a fish. Oh, oh, oh. The state of Florida is arguably one of the greatest fisheries in the world with endless amounts of water that's teeming with marine life. It's one of the only areas I've ever seen that you can just pull off the side of the road anywhere you see water and catch fish that are literally supposed to be in the Amazon. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a conversation for another day. But on this particular trip, I teamed up with a couple of my good buddies and we caught some of the most amazing looking fish that our state has to offer. Woo! Check it out. Look at all those shiners. They're not very big. Those are small guys. But they are going to catch some really cool fish. We are back in a spot that I have not fished in a year and a half, but I made an awesome video here that you guys really, really liked where I caught all kind of cool fish here in Southeast Florida. And we're gonna do it again. Hoping for snakeheads, clown knife fish, and peacock bass. That is the goal. Oh, nice. Water is super clear. We're gonna try to take some of these shiners and maybe do some sight fishing. Y'all check out the size of this cichlid. That is a, you got him on artificial too, NLBN, man. Yeah. It, was that an NLBN? Yeah, Dude, there we go, cool. man. There we go. Cool. Take a little shiner right here and see if we can get one. Where'd you see a snakehead? Oh, down there. Oh, really? That's cool. There's a peacock bass literally right on the bank right here. Oh, he's on it. He got it. He got it. Oh, I lost him. Choked on him, my first peacock. He's just sitting here chilling. Let's see if he'll eat again. Oh, yeah, he did. There he is. Got him. Got him. Woo! Nice. Dude, these guys fight so hard. That was a sick eat. <clears throat> nice. Come here. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. We have been here a total of two minutes. We've already got a peacock bass. Such a beautiful fish. Let's let him go right here. All right. Beautiful. That was awesome. Thanks, man. What was your name? Dylan. Dylan. My papa watches the videos all the time. Okay, cool. So Dylan is a subscriber, watches the vids. We're going to fish together this afternoon and hopefully get on some more fish. Let's go uh, get another bait out. Oh, there's, he's taking it. Got him. There's a fish. Got him. There we go. There we go. That's a different species here. Oh, he came off. That was a big cichlid. You guys have the right idea. It's so hot. I, I fish it in the shade. Let's see if we can get another fish. There's lots of fish around. It's a really cool spot. These are just canal systems. Ooh, ooh. Dang, there's a fish chasing my shiner right there. Oh, there we go. RJ's got him. Uh oh, what do you got? Good. Oh, you got a snakehead. Check him out. Nice snakehead. There we go. Y'all remember RJ. He uh, was in my video here a year and a half ago when I caught a clown knife fish. That's just another bullseye snakehead. Check it out. There's something about shiner fishing in Florida that I just love. Brings me back to when I was a kid. It's one of my favorite types of fishing to do. Oh my gosh, what is that? Look at that fish on top right out here. Holy cow. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing I got him. I got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Oh, oh, check this out, y'all. Check this out. This, if I get this one in, it'll be the second one that I've ever caught in my life here. Oh, he don't want to come onto the land, I can tell you that. That is a bullseye snakehead. Such a cool fish. Second one that I've ever caught right there. The first one came from this area too, a year and a half ago. We're gonna take us another shiner and get it out. There's just so many fish today. It's just a great bite. Just a great bite today. So everybody's catching fish. That's the way you want it. Oh, there's a clown knife fish, just roll. I gotta get a clown. 
there we go. I'm in clown knife fish area right there. But, oh, look at the clown. See him just roll? Yeah, that was a clown. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. Woo, look at that. Peacock. He's a dink. Just a dink peacock, but still a beautiful fish. I would throw it right out there past that grass, probably. Oh, it's a largemouth. Never mind. I thought it was a snakehead. Ugh. Catching all kinds of species. Such a cool place. <clears throat> another LMB right here. Got another shiner going here. Let's keep it, keep the momentum alive. We've caught peacock, snakehead, and largemouth. The only fish I wish I could catch is a clown knife fish. However, <clears throat> We're seeing a lot of them roll, but they're a, a little harder to catch. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big fish, dude. This is a big one. He's on the grass. Biggest fish of the day that I've hooked. I don't know what it is, but he's hooked in the grass. Ah. Oh, he's coming. There he is. Yeah. Oh, it's a big snakehead. Come on. Oh. Woo. Got him. Heck yeah. Beautiful snakehead right here. That is such a cool fish. Folks, we are about to call FWC and clear this up once and for all. Bearded Brad recently posted a video catching invasive species and he was releasing his invasive species and he got annihilated in the comment sections. Uh, people were saying he should be put in jail. People were saying uh, making up laws in the comment section. So I would like to spread awareness as to what the actual law states. So I am going to call FWC right now. I don't know if they'll allow me to post it, but I will relay exactly what they say. Thank you for calling the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. If this is a wildlife emergency, please hang up and dial 1-888-404-3922. Uh, yes, I have a question regarding invasive species, fish species, and I was hoping to get some clarification on it and was hoping you could point me in the direction of the person to answer that question. Okay. So uh, we do a lot of fishing in South Florida for invasive species like snakehead, uh, clown knife fish. And so if we happen to catch one of these fish, is it legal or is it illegal to release that fish into the same body of water that we caught it from? Okay. So they've got me on hold right now. Um, they said that I could not record their answer. Um, I'm not sure why, so I'm just gonna relay it to you. Yes, ma'am. Florida statute 37 9.4015 okay let me just get some clarification uh, so if I catch it and I put it and I have it alive 
uh, like in a live well or something like that, it's illegal. So that means like an invasive, like a cichlid for bait is illegal. But yet if I catch it while I'm fishing for peacock bass or something and I release it back into the same body that it is perfectly legal, but frowned upon. <laughs> I got it. Got it. Well, that clears things up. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. That was pretty clear. So here is where it gets confusing to me, though, because when you Google, uh, can you release invasive species, it says absolutely not. It's illegal. But yet FWC just told me it was legal. And so I am thinking that releasing means like you, can you can't take them from your fish tank and release them or release them into a new body of water, but you can release them into the same body of water is what I understood from that conversation conversation. Does that mean it's right? No. It, a lot of times when I'm fishing, I'm in the zone and I catch a fish and I'm not even thinking about it because I'm like ready to catch the next one. And so like if I, we have, and, and here's the thing guys, there are 25 million invasive species in South Florida. So like in order for there really to be something done about it, the whole state needs to come together and, and do something. I don't know what the answer is, but I will do my part moving forward. Look, I'm still a little confused. I don't know everything. I'm just trying to relay the proper information. That is what FWC told me. So let's get back to fishing. Oh, guys, there's a big, biggest snake head I've seen all day sitting on the bank right here. Holy cow. Where's he going? I don't know. I don't know. That may have spooked him. Where is it? What's it? What's going on? That was a huge snakehead. Oh my gosh, there's a huge peacock. That's the biggest one I've seen yet. Oh, he turned off of it. Come on. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. There we go. That's, that's the best one of the day for me, hands down. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. There we go. There we go. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. All right, nice peacock bass. Such a beautiful fish. Let's release him. Oh, well, he's going to release himself. Nice that was that was smooth. That was not that was super smooth. I did not mean for that to happen. That's how not to release a peacock bass. Yep, and that's not what you do. We're just kind of sight fishing now. There's fish all over this bank. And uh pretty cool. Oh. Dang, Peacock came up to it, missed it. Oh, there's a bite, there he is. Got him, got him, there he goes. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, nice Peacock. Heck yeah. Woo, beautiful fish right here. These fish are so beautiful. Check it out. Nice peacock bass right here. You know, about once a year, if you've been following my channel, I got to pick up the shiners <laughs> and just have a, have a day of shiner fishing. It's a blast. Oh yeah, me too. I saw the same one. Ugh. Got him, got him, there we go, there we go. Come here. Let's see if we can get a double up right here. Let's toss him out right, right in there. I don't know if he's still following him or not. He was right on his tail. Check it out, another beautiful peacock bass. Oh, I got gotcha. you. No, his, his dad is my boss. Got it, got it. I'm getting the brownie points. There you go, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that one's tough to catch. Oh, 
Oh, I'm on again. Do you see him eat it? There we go. We finally got It's because he was a little guy. That's why he was tough to catch. We finally got him. Now, so is this a different type of peacock bass? Look at how the colors, I know there are actually a couple different types, but look at the, the pattern on this guy is different than the other ones I was catching. Y'all comment below. Is that a different type of peacock? Looks more like a large mouth with a hint of peacock. Yeah. That's what we call a large cock. It's like never ending action when you shiner fish. It's like if the fish sees the shiner, it's game over. Oh, 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 I think I'm on. Cool. Cool. There we go. There's a fish. There we go. That was a sick eat. Woo Man, these guys are so strong. Oh, Brad's on. We're good. Oh, yeah. Y'all. You got a big cock and I got a little cock. <laughs> Small cock, big cock. Beautiful fish right here. I'll take a look at Brad. Your fish could have ate my fish. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty little fish. I think there. there's a that's a different type of peacock bass. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Comment below. All right, Dylan, it was awesome fishing with you today. We're gonna take a photo before we leave. What a cool day. So much fun. Snakeheads, peacocks, cichlids, dude. The snakehead bite was fire. Large mouth bass. Large mouth. Saw some clowns and didn't good on. But overall, it was an awesome day.